I've learned that there are two things that you can do to be less miserable. One is letting go. That's letting go of your wanting, letting go of your expectations, letting go of negative emotions and thoughts, letting go of grief, anger, all these negative things. But in order to do that, you need the second thing and they're complementary. The second thing is that you have to notice what you notice. Meditation. You have to catch yourself thinking because when you're lost in thought, you cannot let go. It's only when you're aware of your thoughts that you can let go. I've mentioned the process of letting go from the book Letting Go in this previous video that I talked about, but the general gist is once you've noticed of what you're thinking, what you're feeling, it's okay to feel what you're feeling, except that it is okay to feel that. And instead of being lost in thought, focus on the feeling. That's the physical sensations. Maybe it's a tightness in your chest. Maybe it's your shallow breathing. Maybe it's a knot in your stomach. Whatever the physical sensation is, this kind of uneasy feeling, focus on the feeling and just accept that it's there. Let it be. Let it be there for however long it lasts. Accept that it's there for now and don't try to wish it away. If you want to capture the whole phrase of letting go in a couple words, it would actually be let it be. It's okay whatever you're feeling, so let it be. And ironically, by letting it be, that's the fastest way to get rid of those negative thoughts and feelings. It's an ongoing practice for me. I've been trying to implement it as, as soon as I've read it. I don't know if I let go frequently enough, but I'm trying to let go as much as possible. I also find it helpful to listen to the song Let It Be by the Beatles. In the lyrics, Paul McCartney sings, When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And apparently that actually happened in his dream. He was dreaming and his dead mother, who named Mary came to him in his dream and said, let it be. I also think the second verse is so beautiful as well. When the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines on me. Shine until tomorrow, let it be. It's just such a hopeful song that even during the darkest times, there is light that's shining on you. You just don't notice it. And that song reminds you that there is still light shining on you. I've personally sang Let It Be, singing along to the Beatles song when I was trying to let go of some difficult negative emotions, I found it really helpful. Also, there is a part of us that wants to hold on to negative emotions because we get some kind of satisfaction for holding on to them. So step one is wanting to break free, wanting to be free and let go of all these emotions, this negative emotions and baggage. So for wanting to break free, I listened to Queen's I Want to Break Free. Now that song is not the best song because it also talks about I've fallen in love and I've fallen in love for the first time. This time I know it's for real. But there are parts of the song where it just says, oh, how I want to break free. I want to break free. So I focus on those part of the lyrics where he's singing. Freddie Mercury is such a great singer. I want to break free. Reminding myself that I don't want to be stuck in my thoughts. I want to be free and let go of them. So those are two songs that I use to help with letting go. Plus both songs are very catchy, so I definitely like their tunes as well. Today was completely filled with calls or starting with a webinar from the morning to a workshop in the afternoon to the mastermind with small YouTube creators and then a few calls after that with individual calls with the YouTube creators including my accountability partner Niels and of all the calls and all that I just wanted to point out one highlight which stood out to me above all else which was when I was talking to Niels he said he's just I can't remember exactly the words he used, but he was so looking forward to life. I mean, he's 16 years old, he's got his whole life ahead of him, but he was just so excited and grateful to be alive. He's such a grateful person. He's so happy about everything that he has, including talking with me on a daily basis, that we have technology that we can talk every day from Toronto, Canada to Germany, that in this day and age, there are more ways to become rich and make a living than ever before. That you can actually make a living being a YouTuber. He's just thankful about so many things and that enthusiasm about life and his positivity and thankfulness was rubbing off on me in the call as well. So I'm really thankful that Niels, you're my accountability partner and friend and that I get to talk to you every day or almost every day. Just talking to you makes me more grateful about my own life as well. So yeah, all I did was talk to and listen to people all day 
online from my computer just sitting at my desk, but it was an enriching Saturday. These conversations filled me up and did the opposite of draining me. I appreciate all the connections I've made, especially recently over the last several months. And just like Niels, I'm starting to get more excited about my life to come. That has definitely not been the case for very long at all. This is a very recent thing. In 2019, I was seriously depressed with suicidal ideations just poisoning my mind all day every day from morning until night. And now it took five years to get to the point where the opposite is true, where I'm looking forward to what is to come. Those bad times sucked, but I'm glad I got through them. Oh, and I also wanted to share, of course, some days I struggle because I'm making this a daily series and posting every single day. Some days I struggle, oh, I don't have anything to talk about today, but I'm just forcing myself to make a bad video because I dedicated myself to posting every day. So I'm not proud of what I posted today. And when I told Niels about that, he said, just share what are your raw thoughts and don't focus on making it a good video. Just be raw, honest, and real, even if it's just a one minute video. And I thought that was such a good advice. That is like words of wisdom coming from a 16 year old about what I should do on my daily YouTube channel. So thank you for that, Niels. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Whew, that was a way longer rant than I expected. I had more to say than I thought, but it's also because I had a lot of input today. So that makes sense. 1% better every day, baby. Look who's sitting on my seat. So I couldn't sit on my seat to eat breakfast. Tigger. Hmm?